In this video, we will create threading on the shaft surfaces here and here. We will learn how to apply cost track over here and the fine track over here of size M30. We will also create sketches to create this extrude cut portion right over here. And afterwards, we will do a mirror function across. Lastly, we will do chamfers at these two ends and a small R2 fillet over here. Let's begin. Open up the part file, shaft.ipt. Now, to find the track tool, go under the 3D model tab, under modify panel, click on track. There's two tabs over here, the location and the specification. You will require to assess these two panels, two tabs to complete their whole uh, track creation. So first, let's perform the cost track over here. Under, under face, just click on this surface. Okay. You can see the threading being previewed here. On default, it's always on full length. Okay, we want to create a full length threading. Under the thread type, change this to ISO matrix profile. Under size is 30, which equates to M30. And from here, you can see the destination. Expand it further. It will show a full list of items, M30 by 3.5, all the way down to M30 by 0 0.75. This is the pitch. So the first, the top of the list is the cost track. On default, inventor always select the cost track for you. Anything below the cost track selection is considered fine track. So for this case, we want a cost track on this cylindrical surface. So let's leave with M30 by 3.5. Just let the class be on default as 6G and as right hand is the most common, we leave it as that option too. Press OK. A texture has been applied to indicate that there's threading on this surface. Now let's do the fine thread. Under 3D model tab, modify panel, threading. Click on this surface, but in this example, we will, will disable the full length option. If you notice, there's a small portion here, equating to 10 mm. If we were to shift this to 5 mm offset, you notice as to where the edge starts, there will be a 5 mm offset from it. Let's keep it to zero because we want the track to start at the very start of the trailing. Change the thread length to 25 and under specification, change to ISO matrix profile, but in destination, we will change it to by M30 by 2. Take a look at the preview here. You notice the texture has sort of become smaller to indicate to you that the pitch has also become smaller. Keep the following parameters the same and press OK. Press the home key F6 to show the full home view. Great. Now we will perform this sketch to create a flat. To create a flat, we will draw a rectangular feature here above a plane here. because that plane is perpendicular to that view. Let's go to sharp.ipt, go to origin, expand it further, and select X set plane. Start sketch. 
the view will be centralized. Right mouse click and select slice graphic, or you can enter the F7 key as a shortcut. Let's press F7 now. It will deactivate the slice graphics, and if you press F7 again, it will activate it again. Now, to draw a rectangle, click on rectangle, hover over, over the edge that you want the first point to constrain itself. You just need to wiggle slightly, and Inventor will auto project this edge from the existing part. Left clicks once, drag over to the other side, and one more left click. We'll now apply dimensioning. 18 by 6.5. Press OK. If you notice, upon zooming in, the sketch is still green over here. What happened? You can always know what's wrong with this sketch by clicking on the green item or points and dragging it around. Click and hold and drag it around. From here, you can know that the distance from this edge to this edge is actually missing. So, click on dimension, click on these two edges and done. And the six. Finish sketch. Click on extrude key. Select the profile. And in this case, we would like to do a cut operation. Click cut. This cut operation will be done throughout this top and bottom. So under extend, change it to all. If you notice from the view, it's still just one sided. So click on symmetry. Now it's cutting through all the whole part. Press OK. We need to create one more over here. But instead of drawing it again, we will use the mirror tool. Under 3D tab, 3D model tab, go under pattern panel and click mirror. First, select the feature. Under mirror plane, click on it and go into origin folder and select a plane that you want it to be acting as a line of symmetry. This look about right. Click on the XY plane. The preview shown, you are happy with it. Press OK. Now, let's tackle the item number 3. Adding chamfers, 2 by 45 here, and applying a fillet over here, R2. Let's go. Press Ctrl, Shift K to activate the chamfer tool. Click here, click here, and we want the chamfer to be 2 by 45. So press OK. And lastly, click on fillet or the F key or as a shortcut and select this surface and press OK. Press F6 to home it. And we have done on creating shaft, trading on shaft.